Hey guys, welcome on my channel Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl T M, and I'm back with another Pika card reading. And today, in, uh, very interesting and very beautiful reading for all of you. Today is a Pika deck reading, and topic will be who is in love with you. Who is that person? He or she is in love with you, and. Uh, the card will provide you the clue and you can see that i did not start in anything this is all the decks here so choose wisely intuitively what deck is calling you and i will start the reading keep in mind this is a general reading may or may not resonate with everyone but if it does please like share and subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell you can also come to me for personal reading check out the description box with the prizes and detail and contact me on my email address you can also join me on instagram and facebook this is like more fun reading there okay so let's start reading this is option number one the deck number one if you want to see the cards very closely it's here option number one deck number one okay then we have deck number two okay then we have deck number three and deck number four so choose intuitively what deck is calling you and think about that person okay even though if you're in love you wanted to confirm or not but i will tell you who is in love with you who is that person what are their zodiac sign what what they are where they are okay so let's see i will meet you at your reading so let's start the reading from the deck number one hello deck number one the people who choose this beautiful deck i forget the name if i will see them i definitely will um put the name in description box okay I'm, I'm there's a lot of decks so i can't remember their whole name so let's find out the people who choose deck number one who is that person is in love with them please spirit guide me about that person i will not read the reversals okay if it came up because this is my style this is what i, uh, I have to do for pick up art okay so let's see who is that person is in love with you the people who choose option number one i will pull nine cards oh my goodness what is this lot of fire here what lot of earth here and air too who is this person is in love with the people who choose deck number one i love the art of these cards I really love this deck really This is nine, nine of pentacles okay king of earth wow we have two kings one queen okay so i feel the people who are in love with you you could be because uh fire we have fire and we have earth okay so you could be wait a minute i have to pull the card here so you can see it okay and one more here okay so i feel uh, yeah we have the king of fire let's talk about and king of earth so one of you could be a fire sign the other person could be an earth sign you can change the uh, energies that wherever you are uh, this person is the same person that they have a lot of fire and earth in their chart i also feel that this person uh, two people could be in, in love with you but i mostly feel this is the same person but they have a lot of earth and fire are you both could be fire and earth combination so the person who is in love with you they are very uh grounded they are very strong they they could be a business entrepreneur or they are uh, you know they have their own business and uh, they could be run their own family business i i'm hearing like um like they are a fighter i'm hearing um uh, this person like you're not with this person we have the death here scorpio uh you could be moved on from this person okay uh you are are into a separation with this person you feel it's over it's done be between you and this person but they're not i feel this person wants rebirth with you 
reconciliation with you if this is your ex because we also have ace of wands here look at this wand here in this deck ace of wand right ace of wand this is one in fire so yeah this person really wants this passion they are still uh feel this passion with you even though you are not with them they're sexually attractive to you physically attractive to you they are very goal oriented people um they have a very good job day to night uh, but i also feel like they could be their own business i definitely feel this person uh on their own business like they are they run their own company or they could be in a very high position in the wherever they are um like a very good position could mean military and police and army too because i'm hearing okay this person is really a combination of earth and fire but there's a little bit also earth here like air here five of swords so this person is conflicted like you will accept them or not you can see that right five of swords they can't see it right now or you can't see it uh like they are really conflicted about it that they have to approach you and not um but i feel this knight of pentacles energy like they're coming very slow you can see that right heaven and earth so yeah uh this person really wants to come and wants to take action and wants to be with you but the problem here is that they're very coming very slow they're really thinking about it you are on this person's mind i also feel with this three of pentacles you could be known this person as your workplace or study whatever it is because the, this is pentacles three of pentacles this person want to start again with you look at this earth here they're interested in uh, to grow the seeds with you about this uh, connection again. This person could be a Taurus. We have this, uh, the sensational. This is like, for me, this is like a um, page of um, pentacles so yeah this person really wants to start it now look at this page of pentacles to uh three of pentacles they really want to start this is all earth energy is definitely telling me like they are interested in you and they want to be with you uh, this could be princes of pentacles to be honest page or princes okay because this is a lady here but yeah this is earth energy like very strong grounded like they want to start with you they want to, to be with you they want to grow this connection again because i feel that the love they have for you i feel like this is rebirth so they definitely um they could be a scorpio strongly scorpio so yeah i hear five of wands but they're conflicted they could be conflict with you with this five of swords and five of wands like you are in separation you have a fight with this person you moved on and uh, for some for some i'm hearing same gender sex um but yeah you can't see this person is coming but they want to come back they definitely want uh i feel like you forget them you you moved on from them are you not in contact with them but they're they want to a rebirth with you Yes, of wands they want to start again with you because this is princess of pentacle i'm hearing this person is sending you a message very soon with this king of earth and king of fire this is this person not only have passion for you but they're in love with you king of king of earth like they want to start something serious now this time they want commitment could be a marriage too a proposal something three of pentacles they want to start it they're like they want to work with you they want to um they're serious about it but they're thinking and they're planning. Ace of Wands, I definitely feel like they will take action. And they're coming back towards you. Because they want, with this Ace of Wands and death, like they, you could be thinking like it's over, but it's not. It's not over from this person's side. So whoever this person is in love with you, they want to rekindle the, that feelings again with you. That is, you know, it's like a rebirth of feelings, a rebirth of a passion, rebirth of connection. Uh, it could be a reconciliation for some. For others of you, I definitely feel like you are in separation with this person. Like you you moved on or you're trying to move on from this person. But it's really hard because there's a conflict. There's a fight could be. Uh, there could be some reasons. It could be possible this person is married to someone else or you are. But the love and passion between you and this person is very strong. And they're, they're serious now. Because I'm seeing a lot of earth definitely. A message is coming from this person very soon to you. Uh, and they want to talk with you. But they could be, you know, thinking about how to approach you. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. They are definitely five of Wands and nine of Wands. They're guarded up. They're guarded up. They're, 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 they're definitely confused about that. But to do with this alt connection. But they are coming back. I definitely feel here. So, yeah, this is that person, okay, that is in love with you. I really hope it resonated, guys. Let me know in the comments. I will truly appreciate it. See you later. Bye. Hello, deck number two. If you choose this deck, 
Let's find out who is in love with you. The people who choose deck number two. This Illuminati Tarot deck, right? This is Illuminati Tarot deck. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> so let's find out. I will pull up the 10 cards. Let's find out who is in love with you. Who is that person is in love with deck number two? Okay, we just saw the cards here. Let's flip up. Wow, Ace of Cups. <laughs> this person is already in love. King of Cups. The Sun. I hope you can see the cards here, right? Let's find out. Let's keep going. The Moon. Wow, look at this. The Sun and Moon together. Soulmate. Seven of Swords. Keep going. We have Wheel of Fortune. Someone could have a name from T R O A. I'm hearing the name Tara. A tarot. I'm hearing the name. Someone could be in arts. Yeah, someone could be, um, you know, in the arts. We have the tower. Look at this all major arcana. King of Wands. Here is the baby. Ace of Swords. Oh, my goodness. These all aces, these two kings. I mean, I feel two peoples are in love. King of Pentacles. What is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. The person who's in love with you, you could be a, a water sign watching this video, or it could be a fire, or it could be an earth sign. Or you could be a combination of water, fire, fire, earth, fire, water, earth, fire, earth, water. It it's could be, you know, it could be. So let's find out. I feel the King of Cups is energy between you and this person, like this love, that this person is in love. So this person could be, to be honest, I feel if, if this is, you know, the king of wands and the sun is here. So definitely a Leo, very strongly Leo here. Then king of cups and the tower, it's a Scorpio, very strongly. And then we have the moon and it's a sword. So this person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio is very strongly here. And this is a fixed modality, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and, and Taurus. Uh, and this king of pentacles could be a Taurus because this is here fixed modality the wheel Okay, the fixed sign and all these signs are here. Ace of swords could be possible here is Gemini For me because this is the first air and ace of cups could be uh, a cancer. So yeah, it's here I feel like whoever this person is in love with you This is that person seven of swords like you run away from this person like you're not with this person this person was deceptive uh running away from you are confused giving you mixed signal giving you mixed feelings still this person is giving you mixed feeling like they did not express it the moon they're hiding their true feelings to you the tower i feel like you're separated from this person or this person unexpectedly will come into your life i feel here because you're you're not expecting it because you feel like this person is all about you know like hiding their true feelings um you never known this person true feelings for you you could be all about imagining like dreaming like you could be feeling like this is only your dream that this person can love you but yes this is that person who is in love with you like you know that or uh, you could be seeing this person in your dreams you could be seeing a lot of um you know synchronicities uh, or repetitive number angel numbers and things like that when you are around this person or when you think about this person could be and you're missing this person i feel like you know that who is this person the moon they are definitely hiding their true feelings honey seven of swords and the moon deception strong deception and the underneath the moon here is, is a sword so yeah this person really wants to communicate and they will speak up their truth they really want to speak up their truth they really want to express that how they feel seven of swords player by king of pentacles this person could be running away from you because uh, they could be run away from you because of the money because of they could be uh, aware, are more focused on their work or job or they they don't want to be in relationship i am also hearing this person about their freedom could be that's why they're uh, you know don't want to be in relationship but they are in love they can't hide it 
how long they can hide it. Ace of Cups, this is like the love is flowing. The universe is giving them a chance to accept this love, to receive this love, to be in this love. And King of Cups, they are in love with you. They are. But you can see that how this King of Cups is thinking and, you know, thinking about contemplating. So this person could be, you know, being more logical than uh, being in love. They don't want to follow their heart, but the universe is telling them, accept this love. I'm hearing this person need to accept this love with you. But they're having a hard time to accept it. The tower moment already happened in this person's life that they realized um, that they are in love. It could be possible when you left them, when you are not with them, or you are in separation or breakup with this person, then they realize that how much they love you. I'm hearing the wheel, the turning is, uh, the wheel is turning in your favor, the viewers watching this video. Yes, of course, this love is coming in your life. This person really is like a, f a fresh, I'm hearing... Um, breath of a fresh air i like uh, this is like your dream come true this is like you always wish for it this is like your good luck i feel this is more beneficial for you than this person like this person is more lucky for you they could be more i told you like they're more um grounded they're more of, uh, could be i'm hearing popular i'm hearing famous yeah they could be you now really in a artist they could be an artist or they could be into arts because i'm saying they're they're very they're very they could, this person could have already married or they have kids that's why it could be they but i feel like they separated they could be gone through divorce but they have kid so i definitely feel like this person is going to this person re, definitely i feel here want to um king of wands like this person is focused for future and with this king of pentacles here is telling me this person is definitely planning about future with you like to to have a family with you commitment long-term commitment i'm hearing the sun the clarity is coming towards you. You are soulmates. I feel here. This is in and out type of connection with this person. But this time when this person really wants to come back, they want to be with you, the sun. Uh, and I feel like you will be extremely happy when this person will uh, reach out to you and express uh, their feelings to you. I feel like you could be waiting for this person. Ace of Swords, you could be waiting for communication. Ace of Cups could be waiting for this person, uh, you know, to express their love to you. I'm definitely feeling like this person... Uh, is is is, in, is is really good luck for you like uh this is your soulmate like you you have this sun and moon type of connection like like really spiritual connection that you're having with this person you know that who is this person i'm definitely feeling you know that for some of you i'm definitely feeling could be possible that two peoples are involved here in the picture same gender sex because we have three kings this is a masculine energy very strongly so this person is carrying very masculine energy even though if she's a woman very hard working, very um, could be good looking because we have King of Wands, right? But they are they are very sensitive. It's a, it's like a whole package. If this is the one person, King of Cups, King of Wands, and King of Pentacles, very grounded, uh, like um, very um, successful. I'm hearing King of Wands, very popular, the heart, sexy, the dashing, and the King of Cups, very sensitive, emotional, loving, romantic. And this is the wheel as told. I told you, like good luck for you. This is like a lottery that you're, uh, you're getting from this person, okay? I feel this person is definitely uh, already running away from you for a long time, but it's not anymore. You are into separation if you know that who is this person. If you don't know, this is totally new person that is in love with you. But I feel Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups, this person is going to express their feelings very soon. So be ready for that. Surprise. Unexpected. The tower. Okay? So yes, it's here. I really hope it resonated for you guys. See you later in the next video. Bye-bye. Until. Hello. Deck number three. Group number three. The people who choose this beautiful deck. Let's find out who is in love with you. Who is in love with the people that choose deck number three. I feel this person is watching you. Whoever this person is. They're keeping an eye on you on social media or even in a public. Like you know that person, they're definitely looking at you. They're around you. Let's find out. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could be at your workplace. Art sign. Very work energy here. The hangman. Woman, sorry. Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, lot of earth here. Three of Wands, long distance relationship, could be a foreign, foreigner, 
on social media that is looking your stories on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Yes, of cups. In love with you. In love with you. Here is your baby. King of Swords. The Hierophant. Taurus. Aquarius. Fixed Modality. Eight of Pentacles. I love this deck. Four of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck is a sword. So communication is coming from this person. Sorry, this is it of wands. Yes, and look at this Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel um, whoever this person is in love with you, this is that King of Sword, right? This person has an air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever, Jupiter, Venus. Then we have Queen of Pentacles. This could be your energy. This could be this person's energy. You can switch the energies. Queen of Pentacles. I feel air and earth combination. But we also have Pisces, the hanged woman. Especially here we have Taurus. We have Cancer. We have a lot of earth here. A lot of earth here. But I'm seeing combination of air. And this person could have an air or earth in their chart strongly. So this is the combination that we are looking for. King of Swords. This person is emotionally detached. Giving you this look that they're not interested. Um... This person could have a bear on their face. With this queen of pentacles, they're looking at you, this goddess, this beauty, the grounded, the very motherly, and they're in love with you. They are, because we have ace of cups. This person is in love with you. Their love is flowing. They want to offer this love, but they're giving you this uh, silent treatment, emotional detachment. They're telling you that they're, they could be showing you like, they could be more logical in this connection. They're, they're trying to show you like, um, yeah, I feel like this person is trying to be logical. They're, they know that they're in love. But they're having a hard time to let out their feelings for you. We have Ten of Pentacles. So this person really wants something serious with you. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, like want to offer you love, propose you. Could be Ten of Pentacles, wants to make a family with you. And then we have Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. They know that you are the, uh, you know, if you are a woman watching this video, they know that you are the wifey material or you are a husband material. They know that, that you are solid. You are solid. You are, you are, you are, you are the one that can give them family, that can give them sport. That can give them whatever their comfort they're looking for in a home place. They know that. But it's, it's, it's really hard for this person. They are hanging there. They're hanging there. King of Swords, the hanged woman. Okay, they're hanging there. I feel this person is stuck by themselves. They are in love, but they're having a hard time to, you know, to accept that. This could be against of their logics. Or it could be tradition because we have the Hierophant. This is school, this is, uh, this is uh, tradition, this is uh, culture, this is religion, this is family, against what their family could be. So different culture, different religion, family, I don't know, but yes, it's here. Five of Pentacles, they feel left alone in this connection. They feel like they don't, they don't deserve your love or they don't want, they, they can't have your love. That's why they're not expressing it. You're definitely into separation with this Queen of Pentacles and King of Swords differently here. Eight of Pentacles, you could be more focused on yourself and they're looking at you from afar, very, you know, adoring you, very appreciating you, like uh, you are very talented, you are very artistic for them, uh, you are very uh, grounded for them, they're learning from you, they're looking at you from afar, Three of Wands, they're definitely keeping an eye on you from afar, you don't know it. And they are, they are definitely, uh, there could be a long distance relationship. That's, uh, that's why they are uh, fear of this commitment, fear of this relationship. With this three of wands, I feel this person is hopeful and very positive. And they, they could be seeing you this positive and this, this positive, the ball of positive energy. Like they're seeing you this positive pe person. They definitely want to come and express their love, but they're hanging there. Four of Pentacles. They are not letting you uh, express their love. They, they're not telling you. They're holding back their feelings. And I feel like they will definitely express it. The Hierophant also talk about commitment. Ten of Pentacles, marriage. So this person could be already married or divorced. Or they could be married once. Or they could be going through some divorce. That's why they're they are waiting for the right time to make it uh, known to you. 
but I feel they are in love with you. And uh, even though they are not accepting it, but they know that. Yes, of cups. The love is flowing in them. The love is your love is definitely they are is definitely in love with you. And they are thinking and seeing you as their future potential. Three of Wands, they are positive that things will get better. And the time will come then when they will be ready. I'm also seeing this person is delaying because they they don't deserve, they feel like they don't deserve your love. They don't deserve you or they don't, they're feeling unequated love in this situation. Or they feel like you will reject them. They're, they have a fear of rejection. So yeah, this is that person that is in love with you. I really hope it resonated, guys. See you later in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, group number four. Deck number four, the people who choose this everyday witch tarot deck. Let's find out who is in love with you. Who is that person that is in love? The people who choose deck number four. I don't know why I'm hearing this person is a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have the world. Long distance relationship could be. Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. The Tower. Aries are Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. The Moon. Scorpio. Energy is very strongly here. Two of Swords. Hmm. The Hangman. Pisces. Five of Wands. So we have only one um, significant here. That is Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could both are, uh, you could be both of uh, Earth sign. We have Hangman, could be Pisces. We have Cancer, Scorpio. Water sign is very strongly here. We have Earth here. We have Air here. And uh, we also have Fire. We have Aries and Scorpio here. Then we have Fixed Modality, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Scorpio is very strongly here if they are Water sign. Uh, you could be both Water signs like Scorpio and Pisces. I'm also seeing Taurus here if they are earth sign could be capricorn too but they are very strongly whoever this person is in love with you uh, that could be possible they are, that they are married because we have queen of pentacles with the right after the three of swords so yes they could be already married with someone uh, or if they're not they could be divorced because we have the tower the next it is they could be going through some divorce or breakup with someone there's definitely strongly third party situation or if it's not the marriage or something like that it could be possible for a pentacles is here so their work their job their money is the issue could be i but i feel this person is not um uh, from your area or from your city or from your culture they definitely live abroad in a different land a different city and different culture like uh, yes the world they could be travel a lot uh for their work I'm also saying this person could be in military, like their migration from one place to another, like changing the location. Could be in police. Could be a Uber. They could be a Uber driver, I'm hearing, for some of you. Mm, but yes. So, this person is stable in the money, though. Are they trying to be stable in the money? So we have Ace of Swords here. This person really wants to communicate with you, want to express their feeling. I feel that this person... Uh, will um, is communicating with you very soon on social media so be ready we have the moon card here so this person is hiding their feeling to you are they're hiding themselves to not uh, you know i feel that you know that but at the same time you're confused about their feelings with these two of swords they're also con confused about you they could be you know looking at you from afar as i told they could be trying to give you hint because i'm seeing here like they're flirting or they're giving you some hint, but you're not understanding it. The hangman uh, with this hair, I feel like they are the tower and the hangman, two major arcana. They could be waiting for the right moment or right time to express their love to you. But I, I feel unexpectedly they will, uh, they will express it. This is also very shocking for them when they realize that they are in love with you. 
Four of Pentacles, they, they are holding back their feelings. Five of Wands, they are conflicted about their feelings. They don't know what to do. They definitely don't know what to do, I'm hearing. And if you know who is this person, you are in separation with this person. Because of this fight, this conflict, this third party situation, this long distance relationship could be. If you don't know who is this person, I feel this person is definitely looking at you on social media. They're giving you some hints, even though they're around you, like they're talking with you, like could be um, as your worker, like you work together, or could be in your friend, but you don't know. And uh, I feel like, uh, I also feel like people are gossiping about you and this person, like they want to know that, uh, what type of connection you're having. Are your friends wants to know that, what, what type of connection this is. Or they could be asking from their friends that, what should I do, or things like that. But it's a sword, the clarity is missing, and they will... I feel they will express it. The hoon is here. They definitely have fears of rejection, fear of feeling, fear of falling in love. They could be going through a lot in their life. That's why they, they are thinking, thinking, thinking that what should they do? They should take this connection or not. They should take toward, uh, move towards you or not. But the world is here. So I feel that they're about to complete the one cycle with the... In their life, they're about to end something in their life to reach out to you. The tower is also here. They're like something is break up in their life. Like they, they, they have to leave something behind to be with you. Could be possibility here. But I feel like they will speak up. Yes, they will. Ten of Cups. Yeah, because they are emotionally attached with you. Seven of Pentacles waiting for the right time. Again. Queen of Wands. So we have two queens. Could be same gender sex. Fire and Earth combination. They're in love with you. Or they could be already married because we have Ten of Cups. They're married. And that's why they could be going through divorce. Or they could be waiting for the right time to express it. But I feel they're in love with you, Ten of Cups. They're emotionally attached with you. Ten of Pentacles. Um, they're waiting for the right time to express it. They're seeing you, this goddess. Queen of uh, Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So yes, this is that person who is in love with you. I really hope it resonated, guys. See you later in the next video. Bye-bye. God bless you.